Uh, good morning, this is Coach Rob Lewis from Galveston Ball. I am a 10th year teacher and I have been a Spanish teacher in both middle school and high school. I have taught 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and even some 12th graders that couldn't get past the Spanish class uh, as well. I've also worked um, as a head soccer, a head soccer coach for boys and for girls. Uh, in both middle school and in high school. Today, uh, I'm going to introduce my school a little bit to you before we get started. I work at Galveston Ball, uh, which is in Galveston, Texas, in Galveston ISD. We are a 5A school of 2,050 students and growing. We serve grades 9 to 12. Our student ethnic makeup is 21% African American. 48% Latino, 27% white, 2% Asian, 2% two races or more, and around 1% a little bit less uh, Pacific Islander. Uh, the socioeconomic makeup of our group is, uh, of our students is 60% uh, to 65% economically disadvantaged. A great majority are Title I, uh, especially after uh, the situations with some of the storms that have passed through, unfortunately. Uh, and it's one of the big battles that we fight. Uh, our faculty number is 165 of those. 10% are African American, 14% are Latino, 72% are white, 3% are Native American, and 2% are Asian, and less than 1% Pacific Islander. Uh, the experience of teachers here ranges from zero years beginning teachers all the way up to 48 uh, years teaching. Uh, you know, for us, the biggest issues that we're facing right now are specifically STAR math and uh, science scores for African American males and for Latino males. That's really been the biggest struggle that we've faced uh, the last couple of years. And I think it's probably one that's representative of a lot of urban or uh, semi-urban communities that are facing at this point. And we are trying to address that through various measures, and we will continue to try to address it as it is really the biggest battle uh, that we face. And you know, I would say, outside of that, the biggest social or cultural issues that we're that we're facing is, you know, we're facing a, a high incidence of poverty, or, or those kids that fall on the spectrum of the social economic, and so it should be economically disadvantaged scale. Um, and that is always a difficult uh, situation because you're facing kids that have tremendous issues. Uh, some might be traumatized. Uh, many come from a single parent family and uh, you know, many do not have a male figure in their life. And I can attest to that uh, through coaching and also working with some of the more difficult children uh, in the school. Uh, but there is a tremendous opportunity there and there's something that we're trying to uh, affect through social emotional learning and building relationships and rapport and it is effective but it's a difficult situation and not every teacher takes to it the same way um, so that's our biggest issue uh, this field experience activity we're going to be holding a focus group and the main purpose of this focus group is to discuss professional development uh, so, you know, and, and particularly in ours, you know, how do we choose or what are the positives that have come from it? Uh, what are the negatives that you've experienced? How can we enhance it? How can we better? How can we personalize it? And how can we add a voice to it uh, for our teachers? When it's talking about this with my instructional leader, you know, I kind of I have a lot of experience, thankfully, from one of the, the many things that I've done. And one of them, actually, I've just been producing, which has been working with a big focus group in Galveston called Vision Galveston, which is trying to change the trajectory of the community. And it's going out of the community as an outreach program, trying to ascertain ideas uh, for things that are needed to be done. And we talked about kind of establishing clarity, having some set. Uh, questioning and uh, topics that we want to speak about. Uh, the people within the group are going to be exposed to those topics beforehand as well because I want them to come on and be able to brainstorm. Um, and I'd like us to have a conversation from different perspectives so we have teachers from different departments and different experiences. Um, we also uh, you know, discussed that the meeting is going to be taking place on Wednesday afternoon with four other faculty members from, as I said, diverse uh, departments and 
the only materials that we're going to need, we're going to need some paper, um, maybe perhaps a whiteboard if we want to write down some stuff and to do some brainstorming. We're going to be needing our mobile phones because we're going to be doing a survey on them with SurveyMonkey. Um, and I'm also going to do a written survey and evaluation of the course at the end to see how the experience was for the people involved. How can I improve in being a focus group leader um, and trying to keep the direction of the group and uh, trying to grow you know, from the experience. You know, I think that for me is when it comes down to how it's going to run, we're going to have an agenda. Uh, we're going to have some time allotted to certain activities so we don't go too long in the discussion because I feel like this is a topic that does inspire passion. Many of us have had very positive experiences for professional development and many uh, very negative. Um, so looking forward to today's conversation and looking forward to hearing your feedback. Uh, thank you so much, Rob Lewis, Galveston Ball.